competitors are the experts at understanding the effects of weight on a vehicle. Let's have a look at why weight matters. There's lots to consider when choosing a vehicle and caravan. The most critical factor, payload, or the amount you can legally carry. Adding accessories to utes and caravans is an increasing trend, but the amount of weight you can add is specific to the vehicle. Let's start with a dual cab ute. After you add a body, bull bar, winch, tow bar, roof rack, tool kit, the available payload is rapidly reduced. How about a caravan? It will need water tanks, spare tyres, gas bottles, aircon, TV, obviously need some beers in the fridge, some bedding, and maybe some extra beers just in case. Throw on a bike rack and you could be dangerously overloaded. Maybe even outside legal compliance. So when deciding on a vehicle or caravan, it pays to check for payload. Carrying or towing excessive weight can limit the amount of available suspension travel. Here's a common sight, an overloaded ute ready for a weekend away. The reduced suspension travel will cause this vehicle to experience frequent and severe contact with the bump stops, meaning a harsh ride, ineffective suspension control and extra wear and tear on all other components, including the chassis, leaf springs, driveline, diff, everything. Plus, remember to always consider weight transfer when adding load at the front or rear of the vehicle. However much you add, the weight is always amplified at the nearest axle. So 100 kilograms on the tow ball could be as much as 200 kilograms on the rear axle. Wheel alignment. The average vehicle has a tyre contact patch about the size of a birthday card. This is all that connects nearly two tonnes of moving mass to the road. Adding weight can alter wheel alignment and further limit the amount of tyre contacting the road. Weight in the rear of the vehicle lifts the nose of the car and changes the wheel alignment of the front wheels. Usually, this adds negative camber where the top of the tyre points inwards. This limits the tyre contact patch, decreasing steering and braking efficiency, the two most important factors in car control. Plus, the extra load on the inside of the tyre increases tyre wear. Weight can alter both the tyre contact patch and steering effectiveness. When carrying load in the rear, the amount of tyre contacting the road at the front of the vehicle is reduced. If wheel alignment is not corrected for the added weight, it can be even further reduced. Adding mass and subtracting tyre contact patch equals danger. This leads to decreased steering effectiveness. The front tyres no longer relay the amount of steering input from the driver. With the added weight increasing momentum and pushing the vehicle forward, the result is understeer, where the car wants to continue straight ahead instead of turning. The impact of weight is most evident on braking performance. Put simply, increased weight equals increased stopping distance. Let's compare the stopping distance of a car and caravan when an extra tonne of weight is added. Even at just 60 kilometres an hour, the extra distance is sizeable. As the speeds increase, so does the stopping distance. But watch this. When the added weight is doubled, the stopping distance also doubles. If the speeds were also double, the stopping distance would then quadruple. This is why every kilo and every kilometre per hour matters when towing and load carrying.